I'm studying a Soviet style ikebana under Yoshiko Williams Sensei. Also, I'm taking a ceramic class at the recreation center. Today, I'd like to introduce uh, some vases which I made it and uh, using some flour to make an ikebana arrangement. I hope you can enjoy. Okay, okay. here is the two vases here. So, different, I mean, similar color, but the different sizes. This is one of the small, this one is big. So you can use as individually, just this one and over this one. Or you can put it together, you can put it in the front or in the back, you can use up, whatever you want. Today, I was gonna use, put this one inside to make a, I made it this one same time, so I know it's gonna fit in here. And I use a manzanita branch, which is from my yard. I have a little Kenza inside, so I have to push it. Okay, then I... Uh, This one, the branches last long time. Actually, this is all dried up. I used this so many times. <laughs> but they are very beautiful, interesting branch. Okay, then I have a hydrangeas, which is variegated uh, white color in the outside. So it's, it's gonna be nice to with this white basis. So some of have uh, buds in here. Oh, should cut it. Yeah. Hydrangea is sometimes very hard to uh, suck water. It's wilted so fast. But when you wilt it, the hydrangea, just the whole thing is dumped in the water. Then leave it while we'll come back. They are pretty strong. And also I have a Sunstar. This is very bright oranges. I like it so cute. Actually I bought this one at the in the pot. Then I cut it out. I have a water outside vase too. Sources. Then I put some other branches in front. Put some branches. It's okay. Yeah, this is my arrangement. Base, which is I didn't like much because of the color of this face is not what I expected. Probably I didn't put much enough glaze on it or before put it in I should mix with glaze well but probably I didn't. Well sometimes even put the perfect glazing its color changes because of the 
temperature of the kiln or fires all things is something happening in the kiln so sometimes it's a happy surprise or sometimes sad surprise but there is a Japanese word say wabi-sabi that means um, beauty within simplicity and uh, imperfection so I decided to keep this space even not perfect today I'm gonna use a the Mitsumata branch so when I make this vase, I decide not to cut it straight with knife. I just toward clay, so this surface is not the smooth. This is rough. So actually, it's good for the branch. It's catching it. So it is. So you put another Mitsumata branch. Sometimes wilting so quickly, it's supposed to be put in an alum, and an alum helps to keep hydrangeas fresh. Actually, this is I need a little thinner step. Thin, thin step. Maybe this wise. I got the lilies, but actually it was not long enough, so I added some sticks, then I put the tape on it, so it's a little taller than this one. They are huge! Mm -hmm. When I bought it, well actually I got for my sensei was not open <laughs> I think these days are very warm so that's why I just started open everything I need a long I guess Pieces forgot to use it. So 
some accent. This this is a little branch in the manzanita branch. Not manzanita, the Mitsumata branches. So I thought it's good for me. It's not finished yet because of no glaze on it. But I, so I cannot use it today. But I wanted to show you a brief video about how do I make this ceramics. I use a tennis ball to make a round ceramic vase. Put the clay slab to cover the whole ball. When completely cover the ball, let it dry a while and cut in half. Take the ball out. Put some newspapers inside, then put it back to the ball again. Think about the design, what I want to do. When I decided, I use a knife to cut it out. I made a large hole and a smaller hole. When it completely dry, put it into the kiln and fire it. It shrunk a little bit. Next step is the glazing. There are lots of glaze to choose from. Once I decide, put the glaze on. It is difficult to put the glaze evenly around the ball. When it dried, put into the kiln. Unfortunately, I can't show you the finished piece. It's still in the kiln. These vases are same way I made. It's small version of it. This is a small ball shape. Have some holding around. So I made the different size of vases then I have uh, some little uh, marble in here Oops. The marble here also I have some Kenzan in here so I, I'm gonna make a um, probably gonna be table arrangement using a uh, uh, that's the uh, ivy leaves which I cut from my friend's house. Like gold. Fragile roses as from my garden. This is nice face. I just make a little bit here. Then I can make a... By the way, these are queuing vine. I kept for a long time. It is very useful stuff. Then also they are curry and so cute. So I'm gonna use those. I have 
this one you have a cans on here so I can use I like these spaces when I have a long dining table I just lining up the whole things to the main dining table Thank you. 